Weddings. How did I get here? These last four weeks have been a giant blur. I just wanted to stay in school. All I do know is this started with one big misunderstanding. You're dropping out of school? I don't have a choice. I lost my job and my scholarship. Hey, Lindsay. What about financial aid? Make sure I'm either not culturally diverse enough, poor enough, or gifted enough. Can you believe that? No, hon, I can't. Okay, there's got to be something. You can't just be out of options. My dad's not gonna help me out. I can't find a job. I'm maxed out in student loans. I'm gonna have to move home. Well, let's, let's put this in. Okay. All right. Come on, Superman. Whenever there's a problem, you always find a way to kick its trash. Right? Plus, you have me. Okay. I need to get back to work now. Lunch break is officially over. Don't do anything stupid. Bye, Lindsay. Dude, why don't you just get married? What? You know, when you get hitched, the government pays for everything. Who would marry me? Lindsay would do it. <coughs> Dude, she's like my sister. Dude, this is exactly what my mom had to do to get her US citizenship. Uh, plus, I was just reading about marriages of convenience online and how more and more college students are getting married just to pay for their education. I mean, it's not like you have to live together. And you both get your education paid for. It's win-win. Win-win. I like that. Yeah. And you don't have to have a wedding. You can just go down to the courthouse, sign some papers. Cha-ching! so early so we're friends right oh. you you'd do me a solid and, and help me out if I was in a pickle right mm -hmm. yeah. I, I was wondering if I could just ask a favor mm -hmm. will you marry me we get our education paid for and I could stay in school we really wouldn't even need to live together. It's just, and we definitely would not need a big wedding, just something small. It's just for, like on paper, like it just needs to be official and it's, I would, it's stupid. I mean, stupid <laughs> idea. If you don't want to do it, I, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Cool. All right, well, All right. I'll just, uh, <laughs> all right, that's, that's cool. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. I'll, I'll just see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mom, you are not going to guess what just happened.
you seen all the notifications on Facebook? Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, I did. We uh, we need to talk about that. Oh, look at the cute couple. Aww. Oh, you've got to come inside. There's so much planning to do. Freaking guts! What happened? Did she back out on you? Oh no, she's planning a full-blown wedding. Well, why don't you just tell her that's not what you want? I tried, I tried, but her mom was there planning and it was massive! She had like color schemes and bridesmaids dresses and flowers and they made me try six types of cake! Six types of cake? Okay, the cake was actually kind of awesome, but still! Uh, I don't see why you don't just go through with it. I mean, you guys are perfect for each other. You said marriage of convenience, as in just go down to the courthouse. This is a full-blown wedding, Charlie. Look, why don't you try to find a way to have your cake and eat it too? Think tuition. Cha-ching! Do we really need to invite so many people? Of course, everybody wants to come. We should just elope. What? Let's not mess with a big wedding. Let's just, let's just make it you and me. <laughs> Ryan, you are too funny. I'm serious. Let, let's just hit the road. Vegas, a courthouse, wherever you want. Let's just get out of here. Ryan. Okay. You remember when we were 10 and we planned our wedding? Okay, well, it was April 5th. We picked our colors as blue and white. We agreed to get married in the same reception hall as my sister. We'd invite a bajillion people and it would be magical and wonderful. And afterwards, you and me, we'd take on the world. And I had given up hope on that until until you ask me, and here we are. Lindsay, I need to tell you something. I'm happy to. So, here I am, hiding in a closet, at my own wedding, confused out of my mind. How's it going, big guy? Not good, Charlie. Not good. Mm, wedding day jitters. No. It's, it's not supposed to be this way. I just found out... I just found out I'm not getting the money I'm supposed to get for next semester. You said win-win. I'm losing, Charlie. Wow, this cake is awesome. I just pictured it different than this. I was going down to the courthouse and signing some papers. Not this. Look, Ryan, you've got two choices. You can marry Lindsay, or you can pull a Julia Roberts and run away. It's Richard Gear. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's just when I woke up this morning, everything was different. I just, I felt so confused and all mixed up inside. Almost unnatural. I just, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. Ryan, dude, you know what you need to do. It's time for you to come out of the closet. Oh, no, because look, we're in a closet. Yeah, yeah. we're in a closet. No, I come get on, it. that's hilarious. Come on. You, you set yourself up for that one. 
fine. I set myself up. Thank you. That was really good delivery. But it's just not the place, man. No, yeah. This is exactly the, okay. So what are you gonna do, man? Hey. Ryan, hi. Ryan. Um, I need to talk to you about something. I'm really sorry about all of this. Wait, I just Lindsay, you don't understand. I just, I know you weren't planning on a traditional wedding when you asked me to marry you, and I just got... No, hold on, time out. I just got so caught up in planning the dream wedding, okay? I just... Lindsay, I've been a dick. This whole time, I've been worried about me, 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 and I've just been focusing on the things that I don't have. No, and you, we don't have to get married. Lindsay... I've overlooked the one thing that I do have, and that's you. I love you, Lindsay. I love you too.